So if you've ever wanted to send an email to a customer that has their name as the coupon code, this video is going to show you exactly how to set it up and how it all works. And it's very easy to do. I actually thought it was a lot harder than it was until I went and used the method that I'm about to teach you in this video. So here on my screen, this is an example of what we're trying to achieve. So it says, hi, Holly, I noticed that you were trying to purchase but could not complete the process. Take 10% off with the coupon code below. And then it has Holly A cart 10, so abandoned cart 10. That's the coupon code. And then I've just added her name to the start of the coupon code. So if I was to go and personally abandon this cart here, it would say grant a cart 10. So this is what I'm going to show you how to do. Now, how it actually works behind the scenes is your customer would go here and they would type in their name. So I'm going to do my email address and then I'll write Holly like that. So we would go and have our customer go to our checkout page and then they would have something happen in their life and they need to close down the checkout page. Now, behind the scenes, what's happening is we're going to use a plugin called Autonami. And in Autonami, you can build what are called automations. So it's like in Clavio, your flows or an active campaign, it would be your automations. So what it is here is you have your trigger or your event. And then under that, you can have conditions, which are if then sort of conditions. And then you have your actions. So here we have our event. When the cart is abandoned, send an email. Now, what's really cool with Autonami is we actually have access access to merge tags that can dynam dynamically create coupon codes on the fly. So here, when the cart's abandoned, we're going to send an email and it's going to say, hi, cart billing first name. I noticed that you were trying to complete, but could not complete the process. Take 10% off. Now this merge tag actually creates the coupon code and then it sends the email to them. It's really easy to set up, but this is really what's happening. And then behind the scenes is going and creating this coupon code here. And this coupon code is just based on this coupon code here but it's just duplicating it and then adding the person's name at the start. Really easy to set up. I'm probably going to show you how to do this in the next couple of minutes. So let's go ahead and actually set this up. But I just wanted to show you what we're trying to achieve here, just so you know that this is the right video for you. Now, I'm going to give you a couple of bonus steps here because it's very useful to understand what you can achieve with WooCommerce these days. It's incredibly powerful, especially if you're using the plugins here that I'm about to run you through, which are Autonomy. So what we're going to do is we're going to create this automation for the abandoned cart sequence from scratch. Scratch. So we're going to go add a new and we'll say abandon cart, click add. And the event is going to be cart abandoned. And then we're going to add a direct action and we're going to send an email. And that's going to send this email. Now, Autonomy out of the box, when you have this trigger or the event cart abandoned, it just defaults this text here for you. So you could actually go down here if you want and then click generate preview and have a look what that looks like. It looks like, like this, uh, which is really, really cool. That's out of the box ready to go. You can customize it here, but I'm going to go one step further for this tutorial, we're going to use a drag and drop builder. So we're going to launch this editor and now we can design this email using a drag and drop email builder. So I'm going to go ahead and do this really fast. So I'm going to add the logo up the top. We're going to give this a background color of black and then I'm going to make this a little bit smaller, make that black. And then we're going to add a, add some text here and we're going to make this white. And then here we're going to add a merge tag for the person's name like so. And we'll put that there and I'll just make this a little bit larger and I'll add some padding like that. Now I'm going to put some text there. I'm going to put another column here and I'll just make this white so the cart items stand out on their own. I'm going to give this row some padding. So here we're going to add the cart items and it's going to be the cart table summary. Copy to clipboard and we'll paste that in there. And then I'll just add the final bit of text down here and we'll just add this button, your order, and we'll just make this a little bit larger and we might make this a green color. And then just for this button, we just got to link it back to the cart. So we'll go URL or link, I think it is, hovery link. Now, another reason that I wanted to show you how to build this email is because you can actually go out and automatically apply the coupon through the recovery link. So right now we're not going to do that, but we're going to come back to this a little bit later in this tutorial because it's basically going to automatically apply the coupon code for our customer, which is really handy because sometimes they don't know where to add the coupon code and they can't find the coupon filled. They know they have a coupon, they don't know where to put it, so they're not going to purchase because they feel like they're missing out. So at least we're just taking that one step away. But for now, we're not going to do that. Again, we're going to come back to this. So here we're going to, copy this to clipboard and then here we're going to paste in the URL box and then just in case that button doesn't load for whatever reason we're also going to hyperlink this here so this is really easy to do click here do that and save so that's going to be our email there so let's just save that and we'll exit out of that and then we can go and generate a preview if we want and this is what our email is going to look like so hi John I noticed that you were trying to purchase this this is what we were ordering we have reserved the cart for you click here to complete your purchase complete your order like that now what we haven't done with this template is gone ahead 
and added the merge tag that's going to generate the personalized coupon code for our customer. So to do that, we are going to go back to marketing and then coupons. And what we need to do is we need to create our coupon code that we're going to be duplicating from each time we have a new customer. Because because what happens is we have our base coupon code here, a part 10, and then our customer, let's say her first name is Holly, goes to our, our checkout and she abandons. We're going to duplicate a cart 10 and then add her first name at the start of it and then send them an email with this. That's how it's going to work. So we're going to be using a cart 10 as the basis for the one we're going to duplicate from in this example. So if we go back here and edit this, we're going to launch the editor again. So I'm just going to update this and use your secret personalized coupon coupon code. And then we need to add the merge tag that's going to generate the coupon code. So we need to get the merge tag for the first name and then we're going to create a new merge tag and it's going to be coupon. So we're going to create a coupon it's going to be based on a part 10 and the coupon name is going to be part first name like so. So it's going to have their first name and then it's going to say a part 10 like so. So when this generates, it will say holy a cart 10 or grant a cart 10. That will be the coupon code. Now expiry, it might expire in seven days. Really, that's just up to you. So we're going to copy that to clipboard. We're going to paste that there. Now we're going to make this stand out. So we're going to make it quite large and we might bold it and we're going to change its color to a red. So something like that. And we might make this just a little bit bigger like so. Let's just save that and we'll exit out of that and go down and we can preview and scroll down and it's going to look something like this. So dummy coupon code tech. So let's go ahead and get this all working and triggered. So that's all ready to go. So let's go ahead and test this because it should work. So here I am on my shop and let's add a product cart and then we'll go to the checkout page and then I'll put in my email and we'll call this Jeff or Jess, sorry. And do perfect. And then Jess's mom calls for her. She's got to exit and she closes. She abandons the checkout. So in Autonomy, what's really cool, if we go under carts, we can see that it's captured it. So it says Jess Jew and it's under this email address. This item was in the cart and it's pending status. So what pending means is if we go to settings and we go to cart, it says after a minute, this cart is deemed as being abandoned. Uh, usually this is set to 15, 15 and 15, just so I can do these tutorials faster and get these emails faster. I just set it to one, but it wouldn't be set to one in the real world. So you give somebody usually 15 minutes to complete the checkout. They haven't checked it out by then and purchased, it's deemed abandoned. So here we give it a minute before it's deemed abandoned. So if we go back to carts, this says pending, but after a minute or 60 seconds, this will change in progress, which means it's in progress of trying to recover the abandoned checkout, which means I'll get the email and that automation that we set up, this one will be in process for me and my cart. So if we go back and refresh, we'll just see if a minute's up. So now it's in progress. And what that means is I'm now in the automation. I'm deemed as an abandoned cart person. So if we go back to automations and we go over here and then we click on task history, these are all the different tasks that are happening through all our automations. So if we go to completed, so this one happened 53 seconds ago, an email was sent to me from this here. And if we have a look, we can see it executed successfully. So we should have this email in our inbox. Let's head over to my inbox. So it says, hi, Jess, I noticed you were trying to purchase. And here it is in our inbox. So if we go down, hi, Jess, I noticed you were trying to purchase, but could not complete the process. We were trying to purchase that. We reserved your cart, use your secret personalized coupon code, Jess, a cart 10. Click here to complete your purchase, clear your order. Now, if we open this up in an incognito, you can see up the top in the URL, we have this query parameter that says success. Our cart was restored and it's taken all the data that it has for our cart and output it and automatically auto filled the fields on the page to speed up that checkout process. So if somebody gets right to the end of your checkout, so they enter all this, they enter their uh, shipping details like so, they continue to shipping and then they choose some things over here and then they exit. When they click this button here and then go back and restore their cart, all that data is going to be automatically restored. So it just speeds up the checkout process, increases your conversion rate. But that's how easy it is to go out and set up WooCommerce emails using a drag and drop email builder, set up personalized coupon codes like this for every customer. 
and have all that data saved in a CRM inside WordPress for you to go and action later on. Now, if we go and go marketing and coupons, we can also confirm that that coupon code exists here in our system. So the last thing that I said that I would wrap up this video with was going out and automatically applying the coupon code when that link is clicked. So to do that, let's go back to our automation and we'll edit and then we'll edit our email again. So we'll launch the editor. Uh, so we're gonna actually recreate this merge tag and we'll go link to so cart recovery link. We'll select and we're gonna say also apply coupon through recovery link. Yes. Now the coupon code is going to be the billing name. So we get it from here because this is gonna be the name of the coupon code that generated. So we'll go and edit this. Uh, we're gonna do merge tags and we'll go cart recovery link. Select auto apply coupon through recovery link. Yes. And the coupon code is going to be the one that we generate like so. Now we copy that. And now we just replace this URL here with the new one and save. And then this one, we just do the same like so. And then we're gonna save and I'll exit out of that. And now let's go ahead and re-trigger this. So I'll add this product to cart and then we'll go to the checkout page and I'll put in my email and here we'll do Jackson like so. And then we'll put in our street and our suburb. So do this like that. I'll put more details in, continue to shipping. And then I'm gonna abandon cart like so. If we go back to our cart, we can see that it's been captured. It's pending because it has to wait that one minute before it's deemed as being an abandoned cart. And then we go through that automation. So let's just wait that minute. So now that's in process. So if we go to automations and then task history and then completed, we can see 13 seconds ago, I was sent an email. So let's go back to my inbox and then here's that email. So if we scroll down, hi Jackson, I noticed you were trying to purchase this. Jackson, a cart 10. So now if we click this, our checkout page loads, it pre-fills our information, our first name, last name, it pre-fills all my shipping details that I entered and it automatically applies my personalized coupon code to the cart and gives me 10% off. And it says Jackson A cart 10. So that is really a fully automated abandoned cart recovery system using one plugin inside WordPress that allows you to design your emails that automates everything and applies this personalized coupon code with one click. So that's how easy it is to do. I hope you guys got a lot of value out of this, but the learning doesn't end with this video because I have a really important video that you need to watch here that shows you how to design your WooCommerce checkout page to look like Shopify's. And then also I'm gonna link a second video in the description below that shows you how to go and set up a multi-step WooCommerce checkout form, which is really important to understand A, how to set up and B, when to use it. Because if you're using it in the wrong ways, it could harm your conversion rate. So I'll leave links to both those videos below. Let me know in the comments below what you thought about this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.